Good morning, my smarty pants. So we are talking about atmospheric bedrooms, and this is a perspective, okay? So instead of imagining that you're walking into your bedroom, we're going to imagine that they've peeled the roof off and you're above it, like from an airplane or something, looking straight down, okay? So you're looking at your bedroom from the atmosphere, from the sky, okay? Now, in order to do this, we need some supplies. Materiales. We need paper, papel, pencil, lapis, and colors, colores. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I realized that since we are not in the school building, and many of you haven't been in my classroom since last March, <laughs> you probably forgot what my classroom looks like, and the way it is now is kind of a mess. There's only six tables out, stools are stacked. I mean, it's just, it's not our usual classroom space. And my students at Barbara Jordan, you don't know what my classroom looks like. So I'm going to do a demonstration with a famous Van Gogh painting instead. Okay, so I've got here, this is Van Gogh's painting of his bedroom. Okay, at one of the places that he lived. So we're going to figure out how to do an atmospheric drawing based on this painting. Okay. And then you're going to use your actual bedroom for your painting. This is just going to be my demonstration. You don't have to copy this one. You're going to do your bedroom. Okay, think about what's in your house, in your room. All right, so I'm going to put this, let's see, yeah, we can still see it there. All right, that's good. So there's Van Gogh's bedroom, and it's actually called The Room. Okay, so... In order to make a perspective, atmospheric perspective drawing, we need to draw the outline of the room first. So I can see there's a floor, floor, floor. So that tells me it's probably a rectangle. We're going to say it's a rectangle, okay? So there's the rectangle, all right? Then in the back of the rectangle, we're going to start there with this back wall here. We can see a table. We can see a chair, we can see a hook, some hooks with clothes on them, we can see a bed, we can see a window, okay? So I'm going to start with the table, and it looks like it's kind of up against the wall, and it's right in the corner, okay? So I'm going to put just a little rectangle for the table. Now since we're looking from straight above, you're not going to see the legs, okay? Don't draw legs sticking out, it'll look really weird. Just draw the top of the table, okay? So there's the top, and then on the table, we have some stuff, and I can see a pitcher, and I'm not sure what those bottles are, maybe a vase, and I don't know what else is on there, so I'm just gonna guess, okay? So we've got three bottles, we've got a bigger vase, we've got another bottle, we've got this thing here that I don't know what that is, Okay, so there's his table with the stuff. And remember, we're looking straight down, so you're looking at the shape of the thing. So, for example, if I'm looking at this can, instead of looking at it sideways, you're going to look at it straight down. It's a circle, okay? If I'm looking at this book, instead of looking at it sideways, you're looking at it straight down. It's a rectangle, okay? So, there's the table with the objects on it. Now I have a chair. So, let's see. The chair looks like it's square on the seat, and it's kind of turned at an angle. So, there's the square seat. Now, we will see the back just a little bit. We'll see the poles in the back and then the, the crossbars, okay? But only the top parts, really. So, I'm just going to draw two circles and a line, okay? And then the legs, again, you're not going to see those, okay? All right, so there's the chair. Now, let's see, we've got that hook against the, or the thing on the wall. So we've got some pegs, so I'm just going to draw three pegs. And then we've got clothes hanging on them. So I'm going to put kind of a lump on top of that. Okay, so there's the clothes. All right, and then the bed looks like it's against this wall. Look, there's a door here, okay? So I'm going to draw the bed, the 
bed is just going to be a rectangle. All right. Now, if we look at his bed, we can see two pillows and we can see his blankets. So I'm just going to draw a pillow, another pillow, and then it looks like the blankets are down here like that. Okay. Now, there is a bed frame, but you're not really going to see much of that looking straight down. Okay. It's still going to be very rectangular. All right. Now, we've got this door here. Hmm. How do we show a door? Well, we're just going to do that for the door. Okay. And we can label it. All right. And we've also got a window on this wall. So let's see. It looks like it's between this guy and the chair. Window. Okay. And I know we have some paintings on the walls, but those are going to be really, really hard to see from above. You might see a little, just a line sticking out. So we're just not going to worry about the paintings. Okay. We're going to worry mostly about the furniture and stuff. All right. Now over here, we have another peg on the wall. Okay. So let's see another blob of something hanging down. Looks like a towel. And then we have another door and a chair. And I'm, I can't really tell if the chair is in front of the door or next to it. I'm going to put it next to it. Okay. So we've got another door over here. And then we're going to put our chair. And again, it's just a little square and the top. Okay. All right, so that is our atmospheric drawing of Van Gogh's room, okay? All right, and there we go. So that is how you would do your room, except you would add in the things that are actually in your room, okay? So I'm going to put, make another video and I'm going to show you how to draw other things, things other than just chairs and beds. Okay. So check out the next video. See you later. Bye.